quick video on you guys maybe you're looking at a TDI and uh, maybe you want to buy one because you're looking at the gas mileage they get and uh, I'm going to kind of go over some of the things to look for when you're buying them uh, uh, so that you'll know and how to maintain it a little bit so you guys kind of get a heads up of um, exactly the right way to maintain this car these cars are very particular if you maintain in the wrong way the engine really won't last at all um, but if you take care of it right you could get 400,000 500,000 miles easily out of the engine transmission you might have some problems with but uh, on the DSG which I don't know I'd rather have an automatic myself one of the things that I look for is I use this high, Pento High uh, performance it's a 505.1 if you look on the specifications your oil has to have right down there if you can see that 505.1 on the specs if it hasn't been used in the car um, chances are you're gonna have some problems if you're looking at an 06, 05 and a half, 06 BRM engine, uh, your cam will go flat faster without using the proper oil. And the other thing that will happen, the cam's gonna go flat. So if you're buying one that has 120,000 miles on it, plan on spending a couple grand or $1,500 at some point to change the camshaft. It'll offset the fuel cost savings will offset that very quickly because you're going to get almost twice the mileage of your gas engine car. So that's an 06. This is an 09. Um, so I'm going to go over a couple other things. So it, you really want to make sure that they used uh, 540 Pentosin or Motul oil. It has to be the German brand 505.1. What happens is if you don't use that, some guys use T6, uh, that's good for most diesel engines, but the D VW is designed to for the turbo to actually leak oil into the exhaust, and the Pento is a clean burning uh, oil where it doesn't leave residue, so you hear guys where they've got, they've changed their EGR cavities, and stuff like that um, probably because they're using T6 and not using the proper engine oil another thing to look at is make sure well it's hard to see in here but in your coolant reservoir make sure that the, the that the fluid is pink uh, if it's an older TDI that would, it was purple but you can it's really hard to tell when you look in there if it's pink but maybe take a little bit out in the eyedropper or something like that check and make sure it's pink uh, for some reason I heard that that makes the engine last longer um, the cooling system is actually amazing on these cars uh, I've, I've actually ran mine completely out of coolant uh, the 06 ran it completely out of coolant drove it about two miles and it didn't even overheat or ruin the engine so they're it they're really 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 efficient running engines a uh, couple of things you want to know um, how long has it been since the timing belt was replaced it should be done every 80,000 miles um, the transmission oil should be changed every 40,000 miles and most people don't do that if it hasn't been done on time more than likely you're going to have a premature valve body failure in your transmission um, because what happens is it just starts to stick now if you're looking at a 06 you want to know when the camshaft was done if it was done you also want to know on either model the dual mass flywheel if it was replaced or not so if you know that it has a dual mass file re re will replaced, the timing belt was done on a regular basis, and it was done within that specification, so that you know that it's going to be good for the next so many miles. 
if they have receipts that always is helpful um, uh, but and, and you also know that on this model on the 2009 um, we've done a lot of testing on these with the HPFP you'll see online high pressure fuel pump um, they more than likely will fail at some point if you go to the dealer it's a nine thousand dollar repair so if the HPFP hasn't been done uh, and you're looking at a car say at about hundred and sixty thousand miles you'll be buying that repair um, more than likely uh, we live in California my friend had bought one brand new he used nothing no biofuels ever in the car and his HPFP still went out this one I bought the high pressure fuel pump had already been done so what I'm doing now is I'm running because even though Volkswagen won't acknowledge or recognize that there's a problem with this engine with this high pressure fuel pump uh, I use this stuff because I'm not I got this the, the fuel pump was done as a warranty repair at the dealer which if you have that problem uh, threaten them with the NTSB um, call the NTSB if you have to and tell them what you had happen because that fuel pump shouldn't ever go out within 160,000 miles uh, and it, what it is it doesn't happen in Germany but it does here because of the fuel differences and they sell the car here in my opinion they should make it so that it works with our fuel so I use this standardine formula because I know for sure I'm not going to get another fuel pump out of VW so I'm going to use this additive and hope that um, VW doesn't recommend it but I'm going to use this additive to see if it makes my fuel pump last longer and so is the guy that I know that has the same model car. So if you're looking at one of these, HPFP, uh, dual mass flywheel, timing belt intervals, and if the oil was changed in the transmission. If all those things were done in the type of oil that it was used, if you know that it was, if they said, oh, I got dealer oil changes, more than likely they used the German oil. Maybe not. But if they did their own and they say, oh, I used Pentacin or I used Motul or I used a German brand of oil, um, then more than likely the engine's in really good shape and you can buy it with 150,000 miles on it or so and you're going to go to 300 or 400,000 miles. So that's just a little heads up on the TDI. Great vehicle, um, somewhat, somewhat problematic and very specific if you don't do stuff right with these cars they won't last if you do everything by the book it'll be a pretty good car um, with some problematic areas but the fuel savings is is worth it